We've got some updates for Brizzy Pro coming this week, bringing us to 0.0.29 for Brizzy Pro. The first of that is background filters. You can get them now for any kind of background, whether it's a block, where it's a column or a row, they allow you to change how the style looks of the image. In this block, I'm going to go to my background and you will see filters up here. The first of that allows you to shift the U and this allows for a lot of creative styling. The next one is saturation, which allows you to make it black or white or oversaturated until your eyes go blind. To put it back, you just type in 100%. The two below that, this one is brightness. And then this one here is your contrast for a washed out flat look and then for a little bit of punch in your face. And these are the filters. You can get them in the background. You can get them at columns and rows. The next feature is the file upload and download option. Over here, I have a button. When I click on it and you go to link, you will observe that we have this option over here now that says file. Click on this and it will open your finder or explorer from where you can upload any file. Once you've done that, save your work and go view it on the front end. You will see that the front end preview button has now changed to this one, whereas the eye icon has been moved to the left for the hide and show of disabled elements. Let's go and preview it. Click on the button and you see my file downloads here in the bottom left hand corner. This is a great feature if you have big files and you want people to download it. And remember, you can link anything within Brizzy, not only buttons, you can link elements, you can link columns, anything you want. The last feature, breadcrumbs. Now, if you're like me and you've worked with sites that contain a tremendous amount of pages and posts, you know that breadcrumbs are a handy and very useful navigation feature for visitors. In the pro version, go to add elements, scroll down all the way up to here where you see WP for WordPress and the breadcrumbs element appear over here. You will naturally put this at the top of your page. In this example, I'll just drag it up here and I'll drop it down there and you will see it appears here. Let's align it to the right and then to the left. And then you can change the colors over here for the links, put it in white. If it's active, you can change a different color. Let's make it black. And then for that one as well as your active one. And then for the arrows, let's also make that white. And then for hover over these ones, let's also put that on black. Let's bring in a spacer just to make this look a little bit better. And then there you go. You've got a very good looking breadcrumbs. There are far more you can do here. You can change the topography and the size, and you can also play around with the spacing between the various elements of the breadcrumbs. For more releases and updates, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, join the conversation on Facebook and for the news, visit us on brizzy.io.